Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of RNK Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, with the holidays coming and the gift giving in our minds, I had a great question come into the office that was forwarded over to me about how do we split a letter to put a name in the middle. And that is awesome because that is, I've done that on towels and it's a wonderful gift. Now to do this, the first thing you're not going to do is come and get your text tool and put a big letter and then put text over it. Because the problem with that is, is it gets very heavy, it's not clean and pretty. So I'm going to show you in your Floriani software how to create your own. So we're going to come up first and we are going to get our true type font icon. Now I'm going to click on this by left mouse clicking and it's going to bring up my import true type font artwork. I'm going to type in the letter Q because my last name is Quinn and then I can come in and I can select a font from my computer. Now I like this folio for this because I like the Q in folio. You can um, interview different fonts to see which one looks best with the letter that you are splitting. So I'm going to say OK, OK. Now it's on my screen. Now I'm going to come to the word transform because we're in here and we are working with artwork. Our properties tells us. So we can, we've got it filled in and we want to transform it. I'm going to change the size. Now with maintain aspect ratio selected, I want to make this queue about three inches tall. Now remember, this is vector artwork, so it's nice, clean, and pretty. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my artwork shapes, my just my regular shape tool, and I'm going to left mouse click on it, and I am going to select the rectangle. You know it's selected because it's stuck to my cursor, and I'm going to change the color of it. That will be apparent why in just a moment. Now I'm going to come in and I'm just going to draw a rectangle across my queue. Now again, I'm going to come over here to transform and I want this height to be one inch. OK. Apply. Now I'm going to fit this to screen since I touched my trackpad and it zung, zinged back. Now this queue, I could come in here and use alignment tools to center center, but the problem is is because of my tail, if I center this rectangle, it's going to be down here somewhere. So I'm just going to eyeball it because I can adjust as I go along. And let me go ahead and click Fill and Apply. Now what I have done here is I have a rectangle artwork shape over my queue. Now in my sequence view, I'm going to go ahead and close my properties so you can see the sequence view well. I'm going to select all items. Now with everything selected, I want to talk to you about three icons right here on your toolbar. Now these icons allow you to, to play with artwork and do some fun stuff. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and I'm going to click intersect. So you can see all that's left is where this intersects. Okay, so let's undo, select all items. The next one we have is weld. So I'm going to weld this together. So now what it's done is it's meshed and welded these two shapes together. Undo. The next one, we're going to go all items again. The one we're interested in today is trim. I am now going to left mouse click on trim. Now it looks like we haven't done a thing. But if I just select this artwork shape in the middle, you notice I've just selected the one in the middle, my bar, and I'm going to actually delete it. I don't need it. I trimmed out the center of this queue. So now what I can come in and do is I can grab these pieces of artwork and now I can play with my one-click wonders. I could say let's just make these two, let's get them both. I could make them a standard fill. I could make them a fancy fill. I could make them a motif fill. And I'm going to tell you if you put a really big letter, motif fills don't take up as much stitches sometimes, but check your stitch count. I could do a gradient fill. I could do a color blend. So you get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and do 
just a standard fill. And let's go ahead and get our properties box back. I've come up to my top toolbar, and since I closed my properties box, I'm just going to click again on my properties icon, and that's going to bring that box back up. Now let's look at 3D view, and let's fit it to screen, since I'm sliding all over the place. So there is my cue, and now you have created it full of stitches. Now I can come in here, and this isn't a lot of stitches, it's 2,823, so that's not bad because we took out this whole chunk. Now I can come in, I could either take another font for my true type fonts to put a name in here, or now I could actually go into my text tool. Let's get text, I want straight text, and now I'm going to click on screen, and it says my text, that's okay, we're going to just grab it, and we're going to put it in my place. Now let's fit this to screen. So now you could put your name in here. Now let's go ahead and put a name. Let's put um, Caleb, one of my boys. And I want this to be just maybe, I'm going to try 0.95, not make sure you put that point. Or I would just have told it I want it 95 inches and we would have been redoing the video. Apply. Now as that comes in, now I'm going to position this and what I would actually do is I would select everything on screen and I'm going to change Caleb's color and I'm going to select everything on screen, all items again, and I'm going to come up to my alignment tools and tell it to align my horizontal centers. So now I've got Caleb put in here. I could have used a different font, a different block, a different whatever, and you can, some letters you might not want to crop in the middle. I might have wanted to crop this one down lower, but you can come in and play. This is a great way to do letters. They do this a lot of times on sporting stuff. So you would, this is a fun way to split letters, to do something a little different, a little different look, and with the holidays coming, it's something new to put on things. So get creative. Remember, you can create anything you want in Floriani Total Control U. I look forward to seeing you next week. I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson.